Hi, so my name is Andy Martin uh, and I work um, doing blockchain business value design for a living. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today was this idea of an internet of value. So a re-implementation of the internet based around transactions. And if we are going to have this transaction superhighway, what are going to be the various components that we need to stick together to make this transaction superhighway work? Well, core to this highway is going to be identity. It's going to be necessary to capture on the blockchain identity of individuals, you and me, companies and things you know, like cars, autonomous cars, uh, for example, to capture their identity onto the Internet. Um, the first use cases for um, blockchains are almost exclusively, exclusively about asset provenance. So we're getting an understanding of provenance, we're now getting a baseline of data. Um, if we combine that with the ability to make payments on the Internet, we're now creating the information which we need to start to build marketplaces where we can trade ownership of these assets, secure in the knowledge of their provenance, secure in the knowledge of who we're dealing with, and able to transfer value at the same time as we transfer ownership. These marketplaces can then move from traditional trading into much more innovative trading as we recognise the ability to tokenize just about anything to then be an asset which could be traded on our marketplaces. And the final component to make this um, transaction superhighway function will be the development of new forms of incentive model to encourage helpful behavior in each of these components to drive the maximum transactions through the pipe. So this is my vision for the internet of value. Uh, and when I talk about a re-implementation of the internet, this is what I'm talking about. Um, okay, I hope you've in, in, enjoyed this video uh, and I would appreciate um, any comments in the section below.